I'm a business owner in Lassen County in Susanville, and I have a problem right now we need to address concerning the budget with the uh, Sheriff's Department. I have given you a document today that has three exhibits to it. One is the Lassen County Times letter to the editor that went in the paper today, in case you missed it. The other one is a handout of the California Penal Code Section 831 on correctional officers, and also there's a, a copy of the letter that was put in the paper from uh, Ruth Ellis on February 11th. <coughs> My subject today is the uh, Sheriff's Department receiving additional funding to hire four correctional officers. <coughs> on January 24, 2014, the Sheriff's Department appeared before the Board of Supervisors requested $85,000 additional funding to hire four correction officers. Given the, given the county's current budgetary problems, every request, even the sheriff's current budget practices, should be scrutinized more closely. Several administrative assistants and other free staff employees, em employees employed by the sheriff's department, are receiving full pay and benefits as correctional officers and, not, and are not legally qualified and therefore deem them exempt from working inside the Lassen County Detention Facility as correctional officers. The current sheriff did not create this particular process. It appears to be a long-standing unwritten policy to promote administrative assistance and other free staff employees to correctional officer status simply to, uh, to facilitate for higher pay rate and enhance retirement benefits. I'm not going to go through this whole thing, I'm just going to address it. First question I have is how many special class correctional officers, <coughs> administrative assistants, or and uh, other free staff employees currently employed by the Sheriff's Department are receiving full pay and benefits as correctional officers, but are not legally qualified and therefore deemed exempt from working inside the Lassen County Detention, Detention Facility as correctional officers? Again, I'm not going to go through all this. The uh, certain training required for correction officers in the state of California under the Board of Corrections, the jail under under Penal Code Section 831C, that's your exhibit number two, it explains that the correction officers are trained to work in the jail and there are certain requirements. I believe for a fact that the, the uh, administrative assistants are not uh, have not received that training as required. And so we're allowing the, the sheriff to come in and ask for additional money to hire CEOs. He has CEOs that are working out of the classification, but they're assigned CEO status. And again, just for the pay purposes. These perks often by the sheriff's department are having a considerable impact on the annual budget as well as the county finances. The practice obscures the actual real need of the sheriff's department for working correctional officers giving a limitation to all to who have unjustly assumed this classification. I respectfully request that the board place the promotion issue on the county agenda in order to address the many questions that have been raised. Now I have several questions here. Like I said, I just noticed I'm only allowed to three minutes, so I'm not going to go through them all. But again, I'm asking the board, Chairman, that we put this on the agenda so maybe we can sit there and look at why we, we're allowing, we approved $85,000 to the Sheriff's Department to hire four CEOs, and they already got the CEOs. They're just not qualified to be CEOs, but they're getting, they had the classification as it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Wood for bringing this, and uh, as you know, it is public comment. We can't have too much of a back and forth, but what I would like to suggest is the pleasure of the board if our um, <coughs> council and administrator would uh, respond to this and maybe with the input from the Sheriff's Department uh, respond to Mr. Wood um, copy the board on the response and uh, after that time we'll take it up as a, if we think it needs to be agendized or not but we will respond to, to this and we'll, will that be another meeting Chairman? Yes yeah. okay. and uh, I'd like to hopefully that can be done within the next uh, 10 days get a response with the help of we can probably address this today, Mr. Chairman, because we have this topic on agenda for the allocation. Okay. We can probably address this uh, when, we, uh, when we get to the agenda okay. piece. Well, you have an opportunity to talk about it some more when it comes up as an agenda. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh,